That's itself. And I'm making a big one for myself too. I'm gonna just say right now on camera since we're here. Yeah, sure. Um it's about time guys, I'm leaving. <clears throat> I'm leaving uh all the haters behind. <laughs> What's up YouTube? It's your boy Duke the Don back at it again with another roast session. We are diving into the latest shenanigans from our favorite red pill YouTube podcast fraud, Fresh and Fit. Now, these two bozos just dropped a video titled the end of fresh and fit. That title is as believable as a crypto salesman at a truth convention. Let's go ahead and break all of this down. I mean, come on. The end of fresh and fit? Like, are they finally quitting? Are they getting canceled? The Homeland Security get to them? I mean, what is going on? It's none of that at all. Matter of fact, it's basically fresh and fit going on a begging spree, begging their subscribers to pay them $35 a month to keep their show running. If you can't afford it, it's fine. If you can't afford it, that's fine, bro. No one is forcing y'all to join. Like, yeah. I want to make that very clear too. If you don't have the money or even you don't want to join, that's totally cool. You can still watch the stuff for free. It's fine. Yeah. Like, I'm, we're not going to sit here and be angry and be like, oh, what the fuck? You didn't join. No, no, no. That's fine, bro. But uh, my only issue is like when you're a hater about it, like, oh, fuck y'all. This is a money grab, blah, blah, blah. No, and this is so that we can continue to keep doing, doing what we're doing. Guys, I want y'all to name another podcast that got demonetized that's still, that went for a year, giving you guys free content. We went for another year with, with like, no nothing. Like, we didn't ask for shit. Yeah. We we're just like, yo, we didn't sell no courses. That's right, folks. Thirty-five whole dollars a month to basically pay for what you're already getting for free on YouTube. So this whole nonsense basically started with a live stream Fresh and Fit put up not too long ago. And his entire live stream was with this crazy title that sent their entire fan base into a frenzy because it wasn't something they were all really expecting out of Fresh and Fit. It was them basically admitting that they were possibly quitting. Now, here was a couple things to take a look at. There was a little question mark in the title. I mean, people were already kind of skeptical, but... With the recent string of L's Fresh and Fit has been taken thus far, it kind of made sense for their audience to believe that maybe there's something really coming down the line for these guys, and the hammer has finally dropped. So a bunch of people tuned in. Matter of fact, this has been the highest stream video in a long time. So after a 15-minute intro, <laughs> I shit you not, like, chat, y'all give me crap for my minute and 30-second or 40-second intro that I put here on this channel. These guys... Literally, their intro is 14 minutes long. What? Bro, what are you talking about, man? Really, after getting through that intro, it basically kicked off with the Fresher Fit crew, mainly Pugface, who basically started breaking down their origin story. They were breaking out how they met. They were breaking down how their journey started, you know, where they came from, all of that BS. The very beginning, how we met, why we started this podcast. What do you think? All right, sure. Back in time. So, three years ago, uh, we're on YouTube, I'm doing pranks, using fitness videos, and we're having a jolly good time on YouTube. We meet another YouTuber, Solo TV 84 shout out to him, mm. and he interviews me, separately, Myron as well. And he's like, bro, you guys are in Brickle, the heart of Miami, the city of Miami, and uh, pretty much, man, you guys are very similar in certain ways. We spoke about it, and people liked it. And we did a show uh, once a week, and twice a week, and three times a week, and then seven days a week became the reality of the show. Of the show. We got a studio in 2020, October as well, and I started the Birth of Fresh and Fit in person in studio. Yep. And fast forward to, I wanna say three years, which is pretty much like today. Yeah. We're here now with this podcast, and it's pretty big, it's pretty world, world known. You know, yeah. we did many celebrities, many people came through to the podcast, many girls, over 2,000. 3,000. 3,000. We just crossed 3,000, you know, like, uh, last week. I think we've had a crazy run, you know? Yeah, yeah, So, overall, it's like, we put in the work, and I promise you, I'm at the club of celebrities, 
People come, to, come up to us way more than celebrities. <laughs> then after that BS explanation and whatnot, then Myron finally took over and started getting to the real reason why Fresh and Fit themselves started to suspect that maybe YouTube put a huge target on their back. And that reason was, in fact, Nick Fuentes. And Myron goes in to explain, hey, after we did, you know, content with guys like Nick Fuentes, well, we noticed there were a bunch of things happening that shouldn't have happened. As you guys know, we've pushed the envelope, right? We've had um, certain guests on that are banned everywhere. And, you know, I would say this all started probably last summer, right? So as you guys saw, we, we, we blew up and everything else like that. People repurpose our content. They put clips everywhere. And it started where... Um, you know, we brought our guy Nick on and that kind of put us under the, the crosshairs, right? And um, and that, that's not to blame him or anything else like that because that was a decision that we made. And we're like, yo, you know, we want to go places where other podcasts are scared to go. We want to make content about things that other podcasts are scared to make. And obviously when you make content on certain things before October 7th, right, you get, you know, you can uh, go ahead and deal with some <laughs> with some consequences for that, right? Now, obviously, they go into this little side tangent of saying, well, we're not blaming Nick Fuentes for everything. But realistically, yeah. And that's something we've told you guys before. We've seen a lot of these pill poppers in their hunger for views. They go to the most extreme like Nick Fuentes. And what do you see from a lot of these guys? From the pearly things and the fresh and fits to the sneakers of the world, right? You hang out with Nick Fuentes. It's not going to be good news for you, okay? Yeah, sure. You're going to get the quick bump in views because that idiot's going to come on your platform and spew a bunch of bs that your freaking incel idiots are gonna grab onto but ultimately your future your channel is now put in jeopardy because you've put someone who's been blacklisted for so many things for doing so much more but going back to it to bozo started going into detail about their podcast expenditures more specifically their monthly expenditures myron goes into the whole breakdown about how much this entire podcast cost them so much a month to make and as you guys know, we scaled up the podcast to a certain point where we're at a certain level where we have bring a certain quality to the show. There's a reason why, you know, people emulate what we do and they try to copy it. And then you guys go over there and watch and you're like, oh, this is the Walmart version of Fresh and Fit, right? Um, and the reason for that is we take quality very seriously. As you guys know, we spend a lot of money on cameras, spend a lot of money on um, equipment. Hell, you can see the mixture behind me. Uh, you know, the, the, this studio alone to, to move, because right, we had to move to this new spot, cost us, oh man, uh, easily the whole process cost us somewhere between 200 to 400K easily, you know, between moving here, getting everything situated getting new equipment uh paneling the pro place up setting everything up easily man um and that's just the cost of doing business when you're going to do media production at a high level right and you're going to do it um and then obviously you know we got the team right we got mo chris uh bills, bills uh, we got i see the staff that'll help us with recruiting everything else like that behind the scenes you guys notice that chris brings you guys new girls every show um guys a lot of that is there's a lot of moving parts right we have a, a team probably around what 20 people i would say yeah Easily 20 people um, between the people that help us out with with YouTube, the people um, helping us out with Rumble, the people that are clipping stuff for us, the girls that work for us, um, the recruiters, obviously the team that you guys see in studio that you guys have come to learn and love. And yeah, man, it, it costs a lot to run to run things the way that we do. Um, it's on the low end. It's 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 costly. Yeah. Um, a month. Honestly, 50 to, set, to be exact, guys, it costs us between the cheapest month I've ever seen us spend for uh, is like 70K cheapest month right and then fresh goes into their little details and they go into their prep and planning and by this point their audience base started to get a wee bit suspicious because it seems as though they've heard the story before right that's just what it is really the only two platforms where free speech is like a thing are rumble and x and i would say yeah, rumble takes it to the next level because x isn't really a video sharing app like that yes, rumble is so if you rock with free speech if you rock with us if you support us Jump on the Castle Club, guys. Like I said before, we're going to make it affordable. It's going to be 17 bucks for the next 48 hours, right? And then we're going to bump it up. And I know you guys might be saying, well, why is the subscription high like that? Why is it 35 bucks? Well, guys, we're not just giving you content on there. It's going to be a community. And we're going to be doing bi-weekly Zoom calls where you actually get to talk to us and ask us questions. We're bringing it back to the original Fresh and Fit days where we're talking to you guys in these big Zoom calls with a bunch of guys in there. And, you know, I think the best community. part to add here is the brotherhood and meetups. Because a lot of guys that want to actually have a brotherhood, they don't have one in their community yeah. or their uh, area. They come to Miami. Have our meetups here as well. Some will be free, some will charge, but for the million parts, it's gonna be a brotherhood. But added to that, one year with us, a council club, we have a code for you. Discount code. It's smart, S M A R T. You get it for 97 bucks for the whole year. Yep. So if you want to get in for Look a year, below. it's 100 bucks. Yeah. So you that's save crazy. a bunch of money. So if you want to get grandfathered in at the 17 rate, that's cool. You can do that. Or you can do, uh, punch in the code SMART 
and that will give you the annual thing for 97 bucks. And it's only lasting for two days. Yeah. And and guys, again, in ideal world, would I love to just give you guys all the free content we could? Of course, bro. I would love to do it. But at the end of the day, guys, it's a business. We got people that we got to take care of, and we got to we got to um, support Rumble, yeah. right? Rumble invested in us. Now it's time for us to you know um, do our due diligence to help Rumble out because locals is Rumble. It's all one company, and if you guys stand for free speech and you support it. That's what it is, man. Because we're really against big tech here and, yeah. and, and censorship. And like, who knows how much longer we'll be on YouTube? Who knows? I don't know. Yeah. He doesn't know. Hold well, on. It's election year. It's an election way. year, too. So we don't know what's going to happen. Now, at this point in their video, the audience began to suspect that there was possibly a paywall upsell sales pitch coming down the ropes. These two bozos ended up pitching their $35 a month Castle Club membership. Essentially, they're basically getting these guys to pay them for content they already get for free. And then their audience started spamming L's in the live chat. They started getting clowned for this whole entire thing. On governments, right? Locals is Rumble. If you guys support us on Locals, you're supporting Rumble. It's the same brand. It's the same company. It's all one. All right? So, you know, everyone sits there and says, oh, you know, freedom of speech, we're tired of censorship, etc. Hey, man, this is how we fight back against censorship. This is how we fight back against big tech. This is how we fight back against all these guys that want to censor us and demonetize us and deplatform us and cancel us for having a different viewpoint, right? That's just what it is. At the end of the day, this whole thing is kind of ridiculous because every single time Fresh and Fit do engage in activities that would eventually lead them to getting canceled in some form, when it actually happens, the first thing they do is run to their audience and beg them for money. We've seen it happen when they've been demonetized. We've seen it happen when they've been departnered. And now we're seeing this happen when their multiple partnership appeals have been denied consistently by you youtube like i said before man rumble had our back before so now we're paying it back uh to them and for us to be able to do that we need to um garner as much support as possible on locals because that is rumble by the way right that is rumble um and that's that's how we really give a big middle finger to big tech to censorship etc crowder has mug club right um alex jones has Infowars. wars uh, has, has, has his website like everyone has some alternative platform where their viewers can catch them no matter what because guys it's a scary time to be a creator i'm gonna be honest with y'all bro and i know a lot of you guys are like well myron you only have yourself to blame you guys push the edge etc and to, to that i'll say yeah you're fucking right we did push the edge and we might have uh deserved to get a strike but you know what man if you're gonna give us a strike or you're gonna give us certain penalties i don't see other creators getting the same penalties that we do for the same shit that they've done yeah that's true there's no equal punishment i'm not gonna name names i, I literally have examples but i'm not gonna do that shit because i'm not gonna be like oh uh, uh. I'm just going to tell you guys that the punishment is not equally dealt among different creators on the platform. That's all I'm going to say. There's favorites in YouTube. Absolutely. We get it. Yeah. You know, it is what it is. But luckily, yeah. Rumble, we're their favorite too. So there you go. We yeah. support Rumble because they support us. And ultimately, guys, if you want to be frank about it, listen, we need your help. It's what it is. And look, we, we plan for this. We had some savings and some stuff on the side. Of course. A hundred percent. But we need support to make this last long, longer. Yeah. And as well be up front right now. Because look, I didn't think, guys, if we get canceled off of YouTube, Market is finished. We got to focus on taking place to market. We've uh -huh. ads, whatever. Mm -hmm. But point is that, like, right now, we need help. Yeah. At this point, their audience are basically just being used harder than Pug CEO's pull-off game. <laughs> Oh my god. But in all seriousness, folks, all of this is just another example of how Fresh and Fit are more interested in your wallet than the well-being of the men they claim to help. You know, the guys whose lives are supposed to be safe. Bottom line is, don't get suckered into paying for advice you can actually get for free. Or better yet, advice that actually helps you grow as a person. Person. And now, thanks to the adoring incels, Fresh and Fit now feel comfortable enough to launch their own version of OnlyFans. For the low, low price of $35 a month, you could be a Fresh and Fit OnlyFans subscriber on Castle Club. Yeah, because nothing says self-improvement better than paying top dollar to be part of an exclusive club that does nothing else but sell you the exact same recycled content. I mean, chat, really, just think about it. From the Andrew Tate to the goddamn Wes Watsons, all the way down to the fresh and fit of the world. All of the content is pretty much the exact same thing, just recycled. Matter of fact, it's so standardized, even Sneeko has his own version of the Taters course. I mean, think about this. For $35 a month, 
what else can you spend $35 a month on, right? You can actually spend it on multi multiple subscriptions to Netflix, okay? You can get a whole family plan with $35 a month. Hell, you can even actually get you a gym membership. There are gym memberships out there right now that are cost less than $35 a month. You can get fit before paying money to go watch Fresh and Fit. They'll yell at women all day. Hell, Oh my goodness, you can even, if you really had to, Chad, you could even go ahead and use that same $35 a month and go to invest in an actual self-help book. You know, the same self-help book that's probably gonna preach the exact same thing these bozos want you to pay them for. But what the hell, but? And luckily, we're not the only ones because it seems like the Fresh and Fit crew, at least some of them are starting to wake up. Even after the video posted, looking at some of the comments on there were absolutely hilarious. One guy says, dude, you got to stop bragging about how you made free content for years. Y'all were getting six figures a month by giving out free content. I would literally make no sense to put it behind the paywall. And honestly, there's a point to that comment. When these guys say we've been giving out free content, what they mean by free is, yeah, when we were monetized by YouTube, we made over $1.5 million on just Super Chat money alone off of these OnlyFans girls. So yeah, even if it was free content you guys were giving out, you guys were immensely benefiting from the entire situation. All of a sudden now that the money's dried up because you're no longer on YouTube's partnership program, you now remember that, y'all. I mean, the Matrix, we're all of a sudden now being attacked. Yes, guys, you need to fork over $35 a month, $35 a month to keep us alive because they're coming for us, folks. Another guy even saying it's been a good run, but no one is going to Castle Club. We even got my personal favorite with another guy saying, I love your content, but it's not worth paying for. Plus, how are you going to continue to get women on the show when it's all behind paywalls? The incentive for 304s attending your show was exposure for their only fans i.e viral clips you cannot have a viral clip behind the paywall so you have just taken away that from them and I absolutely love this comment. It's my most favorite because what it highlights, it's exactly what we've been saying about these fresh and fit bozos, okay? They need these women to go viral. Even these dudes, these incels, they understand that they, they need the women, okay, to be able to get more people on. Even them recognizing that the women are really there to sell and promote their only fans okay this exposes everything we've been talking about fresh and fit basically holds the keys to the massive revolving door where we get a bunch of incel simps really hooked on only fan models and you got fresh and fit to thank for that so if any of you incels are actually planning on dropping 35 dollars a month to watch the exact same thing you can get for free on youtube just honestly think again there's so many things you could be doing with your money it's not even funny okay go get you a gym membership if it hurts that bad but realistically it's not worth it you can honestly just invest that money in something that's worthwhile i mean 35 bucks a month you multiply that by a year that's 420 dollars every single year that could be invested in something else other than watching ratchet ass podcasters basically they'll yell at only value models for a living but that's all we got for you guys today stay tuned to do the down for your daily dose of real talk and roasting these podcast clowns don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe and honestly let me know in the comment section what you you think of fresh and fit recent money grab okay what are your thoughts on this and where do you think it's gonna go personally i think it's just the final nail in the coffin of desperation y'all just need to stop this but chat y'all let me know what you think i'm gonna catch you guys on the next one peace